The four-day traffic nightmare was at first blamed on a traffic study, a study the U.S. attorney contends was a bogus cover story for what was in fact political retribution, targeting Fort Lee's mayor, Mark Sokolich, a Democrat who declined to endorse Republican Governor Christie for re-election. Brenda Flanagan was in Fort Lee when the mayor spoke out earlier today. Brenda, what did he say? It was a jolt. It was a punch in the gut to me to hear an individual plead guilty and subject himself to a potential jail term um, for conducting himself in an intentional way to get to me. And that way was the partial closure of the busiest bridge in the world. The fact that they waited until, waited deliberately yep. until the first day of school. That is absolutely, positively what I would refer to as an reprehensible and despicable exclamation point to all of this. You want to get me, get me. But two things, two things, don't, do not involve the people in Fort Lee who I have sworn my life to protect and to make sure that um, that I've sworn to make sure the quality of their lives is the highest it can be and their health, safety and welfare is always preserved because at the end of the day that's my most important responsibility as the mayor of this town. And if you ask any mayor in New Jersey what his or her responsibility is, I'm sure they'll echo what I just said. But to wait till the first day of school suggests to me that it truly was a venomous act, it was a calculated act, and it was a despicable act. Mary Alice, the mayor refused to comment about why he might have been the one mayor who was targeted for this kind of political retribution. He says he takes Governor Christie at his word that he had no part in it, but he said he is deeply disappointed. He expects to be called as a witness if and when these cases go to trial. Reporting live in Fort Lee for NJTV News, I'm Brenda Flanagan. Back to you. Thank you, Brenda.